I'm Gabor Schariot from the Aurelius Augen Center in Recklinghausen, Germany. I'm working there as a senior consultant and I'm also visiting professor at the University of Szeged in Hungary. I would like to talk today about the Chariot Maculans we developed together with the Hungarian company Medicontour based on a platform of the add-on IOL developed by FirstQ Germany. We choose this technology because we found that about two-thirds of our patients with advanced maculopathy are already pseudophagic. Advanced maculopathy is the most frequent cause for reduced reading vision and blindness in the Western world. In my daily practice, we have a lot of these patients and we were looking for solutions to help these patients. We know that the visual acuity can be improved by using magnification. The simplest way to magnify an object is to bring it closer to the eye. So I used to explain that with a simple test. So whether you put your thumb at 60 centimeters or at 15 centimeters, it's almost three times uh, enlargement of your thumb. If the reading distance is about 15 centimeters, the macular lens will provide mathematically calculated and depending on anatomical factors, a magnification of about two times. This magnification should be sufficient for patients with vision between 0.1 and 0.3 to reach reading vision. Um, to test patients prior to an implantation and to find um, good candidates for the macular lens implantation, we make a very simple test. We use a testing frame, put an addition of 2.5 diopters and ask the patient to read at 40 centimeters. And then we add 3.5 diopters that makes total six diopters and ask him to read at 15 centimeters. If there is an improvement in near vision, this patient is independent from the kind of his maculopathy, can be age-related, diabetic maculopathy or other courses, a good candidate for the implantation of the chariot macular lens. The macular lens has a central portion of a specially designed optic of 1.5 millimeters and an addition of plus 10 diopters. The IOL is made of hydrophilic acrylic material. The edges are brown polished, preventing iris chaffing. It has a square design to prevent iris capture. And the optic is a convex concave design that ensures a space between the intracapsular lens and the add-on lens and prevents interlenticular opacification. The central optic of plus 10 diopters does not disturb the far vision. And furthermore, the near triad reflex is used to increase and improve the near vision. That means, so if we are focusing in the near, the pupil becomes small and this meiosis reduces the rays going through the peripheral optic by increasing the quality of the near focus. The macular lens will be implanted monocular in the better seeing eye. The implantation of the SML is very simple. The loading of the winglet cartridge is a little different to a standard loading. We are upward folding in a reverse U position. After the lens is placed in the posterior chamber, we rotate a little bit the lens to ensure that the haptics are in the correct position and the lens is well centered. Since the first implantation in September 2013, we had no complication related to the SML or the surgery itself. Furthermore, we found that for a lot of patients, it is of a big advantage if we explain that the implantation of the SML is completely reversible as the lens is placed only in the ciliary sulcus. So if there would be a complication or if in the future there would be further improvement in new implants, the lens could be explanted or simply exchanged to a new implant. I hope that the chariot macular lens this new option in our armentarium to help patients with advanced maculopathy to become self-confident and more independent in the future again.